Hi guys, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to move files from the internal memory to the SD card in case you have an SD card in your phone. Um, it's pretty simple actually. You drag it from the top and then you select here. Uh, here you have access to all the files pretty much. You have access to the internal phone, to the SD card, and even to your Google Drive. So in 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 actually you can move a file from your internal memory to your Google Drive so you put it let's say in the cloud uh, that's a good way to make copies for important files that you don't want to lose but in this case we're just gonna move it to from the internal memory card to the SD card so first we go to the internal um, you find the videos here let's say I want to move this video right Guys, something really fast. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to go back and click and hold to select it. And then you're just gonna either copy or move it. In this case, I, I want to move it because I want to have more space on my phone. So I'm gonna move it to, and then you select here. You can move it to the internal SD card or to the Google Drive. So I'm going to move it to the uh, SD card. I have a folder prepared already for this one. It's called YouTube, and I'm going to click Move. And the file is not on my internal memory anymore. It's on the SD card now. Let's check it out. Let's see if, we ha if I have it there. And here it is. You can play it again. something really fast so that's how you move again you can move files from your internal memory to the drive let's let's do that just to see how it goes hundred forty max I'm gonna move it to and I'm gonna select the Google Drive move it's gonna move the file to the Google Drive it's gonna take a little bit I'm on uh, Wi-Fi but that's how you move files guys um, really important this phone comes with 16 gigs but the operating system is already using around 8 or 9 so I think it's a good idea either to move the files to an SD card or to move it to the cloud Remember, don't forget to use Google Photos. Google Photos allows you to have a backup of your images and, and videos. And I think you can store a lot of stuff there. Guys, uh, how you doing? One more thing, right? On the fingerprints, let's check that out, right? Security, fingerprints. Shortcut to a favorite app. You can actually set up the fingerprint to, I mean, open the camera, the browser, all the stuff that is here, open Facebook, a file manager, Gmail, whatever you want. Actually make a phone call too. So that would be, that would be kind of cool. I just wanted to show you guys, or call an Uber if you want. I just wanted to show you guys that for each fingerprint, you have the option to open any of these apps. Uh, so it's going to work as a shortcut. Okay. I set up the fingerprint one to launch the browser. The second one, the calculator. On my right hand, I have the third one to launch the camera and to launch the clock. So I have four fingerprints. I can add another one, but pretty much um, the phone is going to. I mean, it's going to be functional for four because those are pretty much the fingers that you can easily put on the fingerprint reader. More than that is going to be too much. All right, guys, I just wanted to tell you that. So if you have any question, please comment. Let me know and um, see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.